Welcome back to Shadow of the Colossus. Hey, Wonder, wake up. Mm, Time to go hunting some more girl. colossi again. Oh, right. Gotta do that to help save my girl, after all. Indeed. Alright, so... Alright, Apona, I mean Argo. <laughs> Alright, let's go. Oh yeah, that's right. It makes sense because there was quite a Legend of Zelda craze around the time of this game, so the references are definitely apparent. By the end, especially, so, but we'll get to that. Uh, also, we might as well during these uh, tra traveling through uh, to get to, to the next Colossae. Um, I guess you didn't, you don't show them, Pedro, for the sake of showing uh, uh, flawless uh, kind of run. But you ever, have you ever, do you ever shown um, one of the game over screens? Uh, in the extras part. All right, then I'll, I'll reserve my judgment for that because uh, this game. Uh, has kind of uh, disturbing, uh, some disturbing subtext when it comes to the details, but uh, we'll reserve to what happens. Well, uh, there wouldn't be a way to game that. without that. Well, I mean, it, I, mean I, I, would, I would say that uh, this in particular has a more uh, terrifying side, and the, the the good kind, the good thing about this is that it takes you by surprise, but it's not properly like a jump scare. Uh, you get this idea of, uh, of a minor tension for the entire game through this dreariness of the cascade. So when something actually really Hold on, tense... So yeah, this is exactly what Teo was talking about. Like, basically, uh, uh, aside from killing Colossi, you can increase your maximum HP yes, by yes. eating fruit. Oh, fruit too. Basically, because in the last part, you were using those arrows to shoot lizards and get their Yeah, tails. the lizard instead decrease your stamina. But this one is for the elf. There you go. There you go. There you go, kids. Here's a message for you. Eating fruit is good for you. Alright, so then that yeah. I've showed that off, let's get back yeah. to the main path. So basically, when things get uh, even more tense, uh, or you get something legitimately scary happening, it uh, it actually works for the better. Instead of yeah. just, just a cheap jump scare, you know, like in the Colossae, lingering, the Colossus lingering towards the camera and say, boo, out of nowhere. Like... Alright. This is actually one of the parts of the game, of the remake that I really like uh, a lot, because it changed a lot since its original appearance. Because the original, like this forest, for example, the original, yeah. the original look of this forest was very, very gray I don't and. Even, honestly, I don't see, maybe it's my memory that's jogged, but I don't even remember particularly this forest being uh, here. That's because Teo, in the original, the forest was just so, you know, gray and overall. Like it, it, it didn't have enough it trees did, it even. Did, it didn't help with the a radioactive field. Not just that, uh, like there weren't that many trees in it. However, um, Blue Point, like even they mentioned this in the behind the scenes features that uh, they heavily changed be for the sake of this particular forest here, for the sake of making it look like a natural forest while at the same time keeping the atmosphere intact. Anyway, let's continue. Also, I remember one of the interviews they specifically mentioned this forest and they used it to showcase uh, the the gameplay and they said uh, they programmed specifically agro to not bump into trees because and I quote uh, horses do not do that so yeah. there you go yeah uh, the agro uh, but agro seems to be trying to run for a wall there for some no, reason no that's because it was if you aim your bow at agro he will be scared she will be scared and she will try to run away yep because horses get scared. There, go. there you go. It. A silver-tailed lizard. These are the ones that actually increase your stamina. Um, the, the normal tails don't do anything. It's the silver ones that increase your stamina. All right. And we also have some fruit here. And there we go. Oh, missed. Uh, thanks to the challenges, for example, time trial and stuff, uh, you can get uh, maps that actually help you locate the fruit and the lizards. Uh, Yes. Although, I, I don't know if they improved those in this remake, but I would argue that in the original game, they were not really that indicative, to be honest. There you go. Shame the fruit probably fell down that chasm. Well, that's, a, that's it's okay. still I... there, we can find it. Yeah, we can still find it. I know how to. There you go, there's one. There you go, there it is. Alright, where's the other one? No, no. There it is. There we go. All right. So this particular part, I usually what I usually do is I jump straight. There you go. Don't worry. Yeah, my, my is falling damage, but uh, don't worry too much about. The, the, my health regenerates automatically anyway, so we're fine. 
All right, so basically, as you can see, aggro stayed up there. However, I'm going... There you go. See, when I'm far away, instead of calling for aggro, instead wander whistles. And aggro yeah. will always... Is. So basically, if I keep whistling, aggro will find his way to me. Her way? Well, yeah, her yep. way. Yeah, sorry. I also appreciate another thing, the fact that uh, your journey to the Colossi takes you through many different areas that uh, at no point in the game actually get a Colossus, a Colossus roaming around. Basically you get a lot of areas where you think a Colossus will show up, like this one here for example, but they simply don't. It's just another place where you get to travel and see for yourself how this desolated land is from. God forbid there's a place where you have to go up against more than one Colossus at the same Thankfully, time. Thankfully no, it's only one at a time. Hey, oh, there you go. Good to see you How again, buddy. How you got here? Uh, she went around to, like, uh, there's a passage. That's a smart horse. Yep. Yeah. Mm -hmm. yeah. She was smart not to go into the swamps, because swamps don't always agree with horses. Especially the only point of life is death, Jova. Alright, we found the desert. Alright, so the Barba, aka the next Colossus, is in the, 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 the temple that's somewhere in this desert. For those who don't know, Barba uh, means beard. Um, yeah. And it will make even more sense when you see the Colossus itself. Um, so let's find this temple. The good thing about the desert is that since you're constantly under sunlight, you can point your direction easily. And even then, this particular desert is, this desert is not particularly big anyway. So. No, true. Yes, we get it, Agro. Come on, I'll move. Alright, we found the temple. Alright, the Colossus should be somewhere inside. Unless the Colossus is the temple. Thankfully no, Jova, but keep that thought in mind. Hmm. It, don't worry, Jova, it's not gonna be like in uh, Sonic Unleash at the end where all the Colossi <laughs> form a gigantic Megazord. No. <laughs> that would be awesome, but uh, okay. That's a bit uncharacteristic for a game like this. True, yeah, just got him. Well, honestly, who knows? I mean, we don't even know much character-wise about these colossi. And also, not much about the lore of these uh, world in general. Again, for all we know, Weta is just trolling us big time and it's like a post-apocalyptic curve. Wouldn't surprise me. Alright, then. There we go. Oh, the Colossus is actually inside! Yes, uh, there's a gigantic That's arena a first. made specifically for that. Oh, boy. I particularly love this music because it's very ominous and it gives you this dread feeling that the Colossus may be somewhere there watching you and uh, giving you basically no room for distraction. Yeah. Alright, hey Shiro, you need a time? Yes, please. Go to 8.30. We're just in time for the Colossus to show up. Okay, 8.30. Almost there. Uh oh. So the arena is literally set up for a one on one duel with him. Mm -hmm. A lot of them will, uh, Jovan. He walked right into that one then, didn't he? Alright, sure, you get ready and three, two, one, click. So this Colossus has a thing for theatrics, I see. There you go. Meet Barba, the, the Goliath. And yeah, as you can see, he has a huge beard. I wonder what the grappling point will be. But that's the thing, Jova. This Colossus is very smart, even in normal mode. I'm pretty sure hard makes it even more faster, but uh, oh. even in normal mode, he oh. does not uh, get baited really easily, and it's very ruthless. This is one of those Colossi that actively tries to kill you from the start. Yeah, I can tell he's smart because he has opposable thumbs, unlike most of them. Not just that, Jova. Those barriers will do, do nothing to him, so they're just yeah. an obstacle for you. Just All right, so... Kind of oh. Go ahead, Shiro. Yes, I like that that's the thing you're worried about. Oh my god, he's got some. <laughs> so yeah, wow. tackling, sure, tackling this Colossus head-on is of course out of the a question. Suicide. Out of the question. That's, that's so everything. let's see if we can find a way to uh, climb uh, on top of his head somehow. It's another time. Jeez. It's a time for another cat and mouse game. I'm sure the reason the posable thumbs are a danger is like, well, most of the Colossi don't have a posable thumbs, which doesn't make it always as easy for them to try and, you know, swipe at you or grab you or do some more intelligent things, per se, as opposed to fall to the ground. 
Hero, this guy's standing upright, he's got his hands free, and I'm like, the third Colossus, he ain't exactly forced to have to use his weapon arm, which will give us an opening. So yeah, the the idea behind the, this Colossus uh, is that you should try to get his attention. Basically, yeah, shoot, 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 shoot arrows at him to, to get his attention. And then when he spots you, like right now, uh, hide. Yeah. And he's gonna because try. He, he, he cannot break these particular barriers, so he's forced to just kneel down and see where you are. I wonder why he can't break it. And there you go, that's your cue. Jump on the beard and you're set to go. Dun, 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 dun. Maybe that, that maybe you should have shaved, buddy. Otherwise, in that case, but you would But his name is Barba. You would have won if you but, had just shaved. But, but his name is Barba. I mean, what? I mean, so his entire character is defined just by that. So how you know, sad. word of advice: don't live your life just out oh, of your name. Yeah, All right, this boss that loves to that loves to shake a lot, especially in hard mode. Basically, at first it's not so bad because you know the weak point is right here on the head. However, uh, the other two weak points can be a bit tricky. Hello, <laughs> I love how Wonder is just dangling in front of one of his eyes like that. Oh God, that. Uh... Okay. <laughs> there we go. Yeah, and even then you, you do so pitiful damage. Because I can barely charge uh, my stab. A shot, uh, yeah. There you go. Not to mention that I'm playing playing on hard mode, so... Yeah. And... There you go. And that's it. Oh, there you go. These appeared. So, where to next? There are two more weak points. One of them is in the back. Of course. That one's fun. Whoa, 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 whoa. More elements of body horror. In this case, his entire spine is protounding from the back. Whoa, 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 whoa. Yeah. Calm down, buddy. It's like, like, got, it's, it's it's like, like one of those titans from... Uh, it's titan. one of the monsters from Space Jam. There you go. This is the place where he shakes us off the most uh, whenever we're on his back. Judging by the height, you're probably tickling wow. his back. Jesus. Go. Just a little bit more. Don't worry. We'll take care of that itch. Oh, another thing that I forgot to mention. I don't know if it happens also here for bigger shots, but uh, in the original, there were occasions where. Um, he wandered, charged a lot. Oh shit! Whoa, he wandered, charged, crap! Oh, oh fuck! And wandered, died. I, that is. Uh... Uh, wonder, are you okay, buddy? Poof. Okay. I think Wonder just managed to barely roll out of the way there. <laughs> He's experiencing Vietnam flashbacks. So. All right, let's um, recover here. But um, um, yeah, if Wonder took. Uh, too much effort into plunging his sword into a weak point in the original. There was an extra bit of animation where he needed to pull away the sword from the wound, mm -hmm. and that took seconds of it. So he gave the element of challenge, but one could not spam uh, a stabbing command. Whew. Here seems to be much more fluid. Honestly, too, that particular animation was a bit was a bit unnecessary. I mean, realism is well, fine, but when you do it too much, it starts getting in the way of the flow of the gameplay. I wouldn't that, say that, it was for realism. It sounds like it was more for the oh, sake of you know not spamming. Right huh. Wow, that's this, this, per this, this particular. Have you ever played the game on a hard ah. mode too? No, I remember I did. Ah, okay. uh, because this particular weak point is exclusive to the hard mode. That's but right. no, what I, what I meant, Pedro, with the animation was that I kind of agree. I guess well, it made sense for the original game for the sake of balancing in that case. But mm -hmm. for the remake like this, it just feels unnecessary. That's why he's more fluid in that regard. Oh, grab, grab, grab. You know, dude, you're kind of dying by the hand. Maybe you put in a bit more effort to shake us off as opposed to going like you don't care. Again, these colossi sometimes are very stupid behavior. There we, go. there we go. There we go.
death by a hand room. Talk to the hand. Ready, Matt. And he got impaled by some of that thing's hair. <laughs> All right, five down. Um, uh, eleven. Um, actually, 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 now six. Isn't this a six one now? Yeah, this is as far as the six one. Yeah, ten, one, so ten left. Oh. But then, obviously, this particular tra transporting effect is to cover up the load time. Obviously. Yeah, again, that one took a bit of a while. Again, it, 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 was, it was already in the original. The original house so had a transportation the effect. Also you, the, the idea would also you respond back to the uh, the original, the central temple, actually makes sense on a coding uh, power point of view because uh, in this makes case it, it cuts a lot of time for the sake of having again a starting point instead of having to just go around from place to place. And thank goodness for that. I don't even want to imagine what backtrack would have been like. No, anyway, no, no. The, 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 the teleporting thing was really something that uh, is. Oh good... boy, yeah, I know this one. Die boy. next foe is a ruin hidden in the lake. A ripple of thunder lurks underwater. A snake? Kind Close of, to yeah. Serpent. We'll get, we'll get to it uh, eventually because this is one of my most uh, kind of hated colossi. Uh, not this. It's a water for... level boss. Yes, yes, that's exactly that's exactly for it, Jova. I don't really like water levels in games. Not so much for it's not a point. It's not similar to always uh, like the sewer level the setting. More for the second kind of type, but you usually most of the time your slow as molasses and your way of attacking is altered, uh, not in your favor. Basically, I don't know. Some I've seen the concert of water level done right very rarely. So I actually like water levels, but considering how slow this game is by design, they're probably a pain in the ass here. Like yeah. it the, 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 well, it depends, Shiro. If you know what you're doing, uh, like I do, uh, you should be able to do it just fine. However, the pro however, first time mean, comers, though. first time players will probably have a a bit of a tough time with this cult That's next classes. That's a lot classes. of people, though, Pedro. Yeah, yeah. yeah. Some, not even. Uh, some yeah, I mean, not... the game, for example, managed the, the water temple kind of right, like with the uh, um, Twilight Princess. Mm -hmm. There you go. go with me. Like... Oh, there you go. The the the, the eagle. Go, go ahead. Yeah, like, here's the thing, um, with Legend of Zelda, while Ocarina of Time did the water level, as you would expect the water level would do, but Majora's Mask, they actually did a pretty good, innovative way of how to make yeah, water I like level the level actually fun. Yeah, I like the Great Bay Temple. Mask, yeah. yeah, I like the Great Bay Temple. Um... Mm -hmm. Whereas with this game, though, okay, 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 this game is one of those cases where, you know, the water is not inherently bad, but it's kind of made that way because, you know, I guess for the sake of the atmosphere, you know, how this game plays. And, you know, that is just a thing of water. It's like, I mean, cool. even when water is not intended to be bad, it just turns out to be that way because, well, they have to differentiate a means of it that makes sense in terms of the game. See, now, games like uh, Sonic Colors or Let's Into Zelda Majora's Mask have ways to make the water levels fun because, you know, it works in the sense of the characters in the world. Here, is, considering how I've seen water work, I can see why the to water level fair, boss Majora, is It's not the case a case of a uh, proper water level. It's more like the boss uh, is in the water, so it's only Yeah, that's what I said. That. It's a water level boss. True, but essentially it's only relegated for that, so it has kind of the that excuse for being just the boss, only in all entire platforming level. Oh, so let me guess. It's a boss where you fall into the water, that's your penalty, essentially. You'll move no, 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 you, you will see clearly once we'll get yeah. to it. It will be like... Yeah. Oh, actually, no. Yeah. But uh, whatever, you, you'll see for yourself, Jovi. It's actually pretty straightforward. It's more of, a, more of an annoying thing. Remember to, Colossus number Precisely. seven. Remember to, Colossus number seven and Colossus number 14. They're the ones that are by far take the most time to get from the temple to their places because they're in the far deep north part of the of the map, uh, and you have yeah. to really go around these go through these mountains. So, guess it's go. probably a good thing they're not back to back then. No, they're not. 
imagine having to travel that distance back yeah. to back. Fortunately, it doesn't become a problem as long as you know the map uh, by checking it. Not to mention, there's there's quite a lot of bit of landmarks to make sure you you have a, you can basically figure out where you've been and uh, you, where you've come from. Not to mention now that this particular part of the land has sunlight, so I can use my sword in a moment. Hold on, let me just. There you go. Oh, hold on. Kind of trackable. You let, need to aggro. Alright, stop for a moment and aggro. Yeah. There you go. It was more go. because you were bumped to the rock. Alright. Fortunately, I know by, by this point, I know by heart where the Colossus is. So. Yeah. yeah, that's a very. I forgot. Uh, there is a photo mode. Did yes. Make, uh... Yes, there is. Well, this is, it's keeping, so up, keeping up with the tradition of recent Sony first-party yeah, titles. Yeah, that's what I was mentioning. They insert a uh, photo, photo mode. Maybe not necessarily at launch for everything. God of War got it with a patch, but eventually got it as well. Yeah, the, the, a recent trend with Sony first-party titles is that they all have this photo mode where at any point during the game, and I mean at any point, you can pause the game to start a photo mode yeah. and take a photograph from... You can change perspective, you can zoom, you can even add Express. filters. In some, case, in some cases, even the expression of the characters for some goofy hijinks. Uncharted 4 had it, uh, Horizon Zero Dawn Horizon. had it. God of War now has it, and also this one. I'm yeah. probably guessing Spider-Man will also have it. Yeah. Did Ratchet and Clank 2016 have it? Don't think so. It just I don't even think it fits for a game like that. I don't know. I mean, if it fits for the others, I, see, I fail to see the reason why it wouldn't fit for I, Ratchet. Well, the art style is a major difference. Uh, yeah. I guess. Not much light out here. All right. In that case, let's stop for a moment. Get on the sunlight. There you go. Let's see. Oh, so it turns out you were in the wrong direction. And well, well, well remember. Actually, I well, think well, he's going the right way. No, I am going the right. Cur turn around the bend. Oh, yeah, very good, Jova. All right then. Well, like you yourself said in the previous part, too. Even if it tells me the specific direction. Yeah, uh, it's not uh, entirely direct. Yeah. yeah. Just around the river bend. <laughs> Thankfully, Jova, we're not doing that. Uh, although I will <laughs> say that Pocahontas would be much more amazing if it included giant stone golems. Uh, might as well have, considering how historically inaccurate that thing was sending out to be. Yeah. <laughs> Not just, it's never just the historical inaccuracy, it's just how racist it can be. More like yeah. mean-spirited, uh, for the sake of uh, having a structure. Yeah. Oh, we're there, actually. There you go. There you go. I mean, there you go, too. Did you, notice, did you notice what I did? Yeah. I jumped, yeah, yeah. Uh, I jumped, uh, uh, and still managed to land back on aggro. Yeah. <laughs> There you well, go. a more quiet and soothing atmosphere music, so surprising. Of course, because it's water. This, this one actually reminds me more of a bit of the earlier I could, I could go through those stairs, however, there's water, so... we. <laughs> you know, that doesn't always mean you'll survive fine. Yeah, it wasn't that go. big a fall, honestly. Of course, this Colossus is hanging out underwater. Hydrus, uh, the Leviathan, or more like the Catfish. The Catfish Serpent. And he has uh, basically those, uh, those, uh, those uh, antennas that you see, they emit electric electricity when they are in contact with water. If you're anywhere near them, you get a shit ton of damage. <coughs> you need to start from the back end and, uh, to reach, uh, until you reach the head. Good luck. Oh boy, and it's with swimming controls. This is gonna take a while. Not just that, uh, this Colossi actually gives you some of the weirdest bait and switch moments because it gives you the impression that he's going to lunge and eat you, but no, it just passes uh, away. Fortunately, Teo, the remake kind of solved that problem. See, in the original game, you see, you see, in the original game, it was really hard to know when the, the Colossus was going to strike at you. There you go. See, I managed to find it out right at the beginning that's because 
And uh, now and you... it turns out, it, sorry, I'm giving a second. Now it turns out more, basically the, fun, the fight works more like a rodeo. You need to stay grappled and resist until you manage to get to the weak point before the Colossus will rem him submerge himself. Again. Yeah, I can only uh, walk, I can only walk uh, when he, when the part that I'm at is at in the surface. But anyway, uh, here's how the basic works. You're in the water and you have to wait till the Colossus um, lunges at you and try your best to grab into the fur when it gets to a point where it's below the, above the surface, sorry. Um, here's a problem. In the original PlayStation 2 and PS3 versions, uh, because of the muted visuals, it was really hard to know when the Colossus would lunge at you. Uh, here's an interesting thing. Whenever the Colossus is about to lunge at you, his, uh, his eyes turn from blue to orange. However, yeah. because the water... Um, was really it was really hard to to see underwater when his eyes will turn were turned to color because of the muted visuals. Fortunately, thanks to the brighter colors of this remake, it's much easier to tell when the Colossus is about to launch at you. As a result, this boss is way less frustrating in the remake. You know, you'd think this Colossus would just think to maybe try and drown Wonder. That's again, what he's gonna do in a second, Joe. Again, this is, exa I mean, this like is exactly the kind of argument I try to make. The entire time. This is exactly what the other argument that I try to make with other veterans and purists of this game. Uh, that uh, No, the visuals were actually a detriment. There you uh, go, right now, that's his tech. I mean, what exactly are really different about the visuals anyway? I mean, it goes in a different... Trust me, Joe, but play the two different. versions back to back and you'll immediately notice the difference. Is that a ticking clock for a drowning thing? No, it's only for because. No, no, no. It, it means that I'm almost, I'm almost, I'm almost out of, I ran out of um, stamina. See the thing about, see, see the thing about. Um, uh, oh yeah, you said you don't actually drown in. No, yeah. no, no, you can't, you can't drown in the game. But anyway, the point is, uh, well, the thing is, she right, this is in hard mode, and in hard mode, it, it becomes harder to damage him. So eventually, you'll lose all of your grip meter, and you'll have to wait for him to launch. Over. However, since I since I hit the soft spot to destroy two of his horns, I don't have to do them again. Yeah. So I can just wait till he lunges at me again, and then basically by, start from where I took off. By hitting those, uh, he, he disabled basically the electricity on the antenna. So there, at least there's that. But again, this is one of the most stressful fights at he, least for Here, me. let me let me see if I can find the best screenshot so I can explain my Anyway, point. anyway, my question is I mean, is there a change in art style though? Like, yes, well, there is. is. That like... So you can talk okay, to him while I wait while I look for a screenshot. Uh, what was your question, Jova? Like, well, okay, is the change in art style, you know, a downgrade in the change of art style to some no, people? I that's why they... Oh, that. Uh, some people prefer the more muted colors and overall grayness of the original the game where everything is. looks gray. They can switch those back if they want. They can, yeah. yes, but that's the thing, Shiro. A lot of people uh, don't care for making the game, quote unquote, more colorful. But like I've said, it actually can help gameplay wise and make this particular boss less frustrating for for as much as okay. purists of this game like to tout the artistic merits of the grayness of the original the truth of the matter is that it could it it, it was kind of a hindrance in a lot of ways but anyway let me get to okay, 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 okay. Uh, to be honest i don't even i don't even hear a lot of uh, purist argument at least uh, i haven't uh, on myself it, it, so it, 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 it depends it depends on the it, it, it depends on where you go to tell some uh, like uh, uh, like so, there's even oh, some I professional imagine those people exist or don't, don't worry let Thankfully, though, they don't seem to be that vocal okay okay, okay. so it's not a case like secret of mana where the art style is not stuff let me just see if i can find it Anyway, but while I can see that this, um, like in the original Mosto, but even here it can still be a bit frustrating, I really like this one based on pure design. Yeah. There you go, and now it's only left to the head. There you go. Gee, this guy can only really hit me when I let him go above water. Maybe I should just have him cling to me for the rest of my life. <laughs> Maybe I should just Colossus drown him, I don't know. He's not very smart. <laughs> like, I gotta wonder though, why does this guy even bother the surface for? No idea. It's but Jova, if, it, it, if I didn't go to the, fair, to, the um, to the surface, then this boss battle wouldn't be fair, now would it? <laughs> uh, it's a video game. Were, uh, maybe they were waiting for us to like, drain the water. I, I'm guessing this thing also needs air itself, though. That is the problem. It's based it on a catfish, which means oh, it's yeah. a fish. Oh, yeah. There you go. I mean, they do come up for air sometimes. 
catfish? Mm, not oh, really. Catfish. No, no, not catfish. But this. Well, I, who cares? He's dead anyway. This thing looks like it's only part catfish, though. And yeah, it's dead. Again, the humanity. The humanity. Wait, that's not a manatee. That's a serpent. Funny, Joel, that there's an anime where humanity is called either humanity for some reason. <laughs> what? Just uh, waiting the for the pendulums to break pondering me. Pondering in it. Waiting for that godforsaken blood thing to go into him. And uh, minute now. There, you go. there we go. Well, at least it's more subtle here. Even the original, even people think the water you hear the old <laughs> sound effect out of nowhere. <laughs> Indeed, I can f I can seem to find a really good screenshot. Yeah, it's okay. I mean, from what I can understand, it's mainly just you know an upscaling and color change. Well, here, let me. Let, well, here, here. Since this particular boss is fresh in your mind, uh, I can share this one just so you can have a basic idea of the color change. Um, mm -hmm. There you go. Hero be God. There you go. For this particular screenshot is when the it, it, it takes place when the colossus actually go into the surface. So it's of course uh, easy to see the eyes and everything. However, when the colossus in the PS2 version is under the water, it can become really hard to tell when the eyes change from blue to orange because that water doesn't. That water looks more like freaking swamp water. Um, the water kind of blends in with the color of the colossi itself. Ex so... Thank you. Yeah. All right, good. Okay, thy next foe is actually one of my favorites. A tail trapped within a pale deep within the forest. A shadow that crawls on the walls. Peter Pan? <laughs> no. Trust me, Joe. If Peter Pan had the abilities that the next loss I has, uh, you. The children of London will be a lot more screwed. Really? <laughs> yes. He was already a detriment to them to begin with. <laughs> Alright, All right, let's check. Let's also check, I think, uh, Wander's appearance, I guess. Yeah, let's check on Wander, see how he's doing. But first, let's pray, so we can save the game. I wonder what, uh, wonder what they think of the teleportation. <laughs> I do wonder. I want to see this game from the point of view of the horse. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> it just Wonder looks you. a bit more determined than before. No, no, notice his neck. Notice that you can actually check uh, so you, some are, veins, some, some black veins. Yeah, uh, not immediately visible also for you, Shiri, but there are some veins that are yeah, getting... Yeah, it looks like shading to me mm -hmm. at the moment. Well, wouldn't it be just a shame if he has to Don't sacrifice worry. himself just for Momo to live? <laughs> True, we'll see about that. For now, see you for the next part, I guess. See ya. See ya. See ya.